Crystal Jordan, be honest to myself, Kevin Davis. We are Music Love Life. Who? And welcome. <laughs> who, who, who? Yeah, I don't know anymore. I'm, I'm just... I, I think Crystal still... She's not here today, so I, I think she hasn't... It, it, is she at the royal wedding or something? Is that what... The royal... She might be at the royal... She's doing PR for the royal wedding. Is she still in England? That was that was, that was my British accent. Yeah, that's I, bad as zebra. I had to go up an entire act of, you know... That's a, that's as bad as zebra. Don't do it. Did you see the royal wedding? I actually didn't see any of it. I, I'm amazed that so many people in America care. Well, I mean, as, as far as weddings go, I mean, it was... Terrible. Was it? It was a bad wedding? Yeah, I mean, you know. Kinda, I, I'm a dude. It's kind of uneventful. I you mean, walk down the aisle. I do, I do. All right. No, nah, yeah. I think it started well, like early in the morning, though, right? Like it was, it was like a ridiculous early. Yeah, people like woke up early <laughs> to watch the wedding. Yeah. They were like crying in their cereal. Yeah, I don't understand why Americans find so much fascination with, like when Princess Diane, Diana, Diane, Diana, Diana, Diana died. It was like a, it was like a big thing, and and then I guess a few years ago there was another one of the other ones, mm-hmm. one of the other royal people got well, married. The, well, I mean, it, you, if you're following, because the matter of fact, Prince Harry was Princess Diana's son. Oh yeah. So now <laughs> he's. Didn't, didn't care then, <laughs> now, or yeah, later. Okay, anyway. But there was one. There was one a, a few years ago. I want to say about within the last decade that people were like taking off work to to stay home to see. Like it was an entire day event. Were you doing that much in the break rooms? It was on and stuff like that kind of thing. I don't. I don't know. I don't get it. I wouldn't stay home. To I watch. went to the Justice of the Peace. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I'm just saying like that. So when you're talking about grandiose weddings, I just I think I think dudes, I think a, a male perspective on weddings aren't heard enough. <laughs> I think we just defer and let women just do their thing. But I don't yeah. even know if that's a defer. I think it's just like mm, it hit me up and you know how long does it take to plan a wedding? Six months. I don't know. <laughs> like, I see, think we, we don't even we are not dude, qualified no, to talk man, about this. A man could definitely plan a wedding. I, I think no, would, they couldn't. No, it, it'd be like it'd be done in like thirty minutes, though. What would the refreshments be? You see what I'm saying? Like we could not, do, we could not do a wedding. The colors, we're what doing colors? Beer and chips. What colors would it be? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like Ra- a weed bar, Raider, or Raiders, yeah. black and silver. You know, open bar. Everybody get yeah. whatever drink they want. You know, Dudes, we we are not qualified to even really talk about this. Crystal would have to be here to talk about this. Really? You she, think? She probably thought it was glorious. I'm sure she I did. I would assume she thought it was glorious. I'm sure she did. She, she'd she be like gushing over how she was so beautiful. Right. And I was so moved. Right. Blah, barf. Right. I, not not for me. Who wants to hear an hour of that? What, what hour? <laughs> you mean on this show or in the right, way? Because that shit went on all day, I think. Like, it it was, really did. Yeah, my, I, my timeline was all women. Oh, my God. I, I want a man like that. He said he's so lucky. He's he's lucky or she's lucky? Barf. He, he told her, he was like, oh, you're so beautiful. I'm so lucky. That was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> she is lucky than a motherfucker. Uh, first, of all, first of all, women not getting married. So huh? she, she's, women are not getting married. That's like look at the stats. And even in Atlanta, that's why they're all mad. Everybody's mad in Atlanta. True, true. The, all the dudes are gay on the down low. There's no guys. I'm leaving Atlanta. That's the, the stats are saying. Yeah, that, but that's just it. It was the same women <laughs> who were talking about. There's no good men. They were gushing over this. I swear to God. Yeah, but he's not lucky. Yeah, she. Yeah. Nobody thinks he's lucky. Yeah. I don't think anybody. Nobody thinks he's lucky but him. And I don't think he even think he thinks he's lucky. Well, he, he had, just said that shit. I mean, he's a prince. He has to say that. It, it, it sounds humble coming from a prince. She was a nigga coming from a broke nigga. You can't say what, I'm lucky. What day was his wedding? What day was it? It was it was a Saturday. Friday. She was a nigga. 
<laughs> Saturday, she's a princess. Well, according 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 to the queen, she might still be. What you mean? They, she was cutting eyes at her. I saw a photo. <laughs> of course she I is. I saw a photo. Of, she's not got, getting anything if they get a divorce. She's going to get disappeared. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're going to disappear her. But, but what I'm saying is, though, she's lucky. He's not lucky. I'm, I'm, yeah. It ain't no pussy <laughs> in the world that's more important than being a prince. You know what I'm saying? She, <laughs> she is, is it, she's she got lucky. A, actually, she got a target on her back in so many ways. Because you know how many bitches would take her place? No, nah, but I'm saying you that know I mean? she's so protected. Like they have to, they have to go through like the whatever the British Secret Service is, MI5 or whatever. They have to go through all MI6, whatever that shit is. They have to go through all through those channels. It's the dudes who stand there all still and don't move hey, and shit. Like got to hey, go through all them. Hey, the Queen did it before, right? You know, nah, get but, your ass off. Yeah, but he's not lucky at all. He 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 downgraded. This is like a civilian. He da- wait a second. Are you saying are, are you saying that he downgraded because she was a black woman? No, no, because she's just a civilian. She's a regular chick. Like her blood ain't blue. Ain't nothing about her blood blue. This is a. She's like Compton. Where's she from? Compton. Where's she from? Compton. So, Crenshaw. Where's from? she from? I don't know where she's from. It ain't Compton. Come on, man. You're telling me that he didn't down. Compton. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't There's downgrade. There's nothing wrong with Compton. You're telling me he didn't downgrade. Come on, man. I'm, I'm not saying I'm the shit. I'm just saying that she's not a princess. On on Friday, she was a regular, regular ass woman, and on Saturday, she's a princess. Well, where she's like, like where where was the prince going to find the princess? She's like, like pretty, don't you think they would have arranged that shit already? No, that he definitely there was definitely some people in line. There was definitely some people in line. You don't, you don't, you don't against, think the queen was making phone calls like. Just this nigga yeah. went against the grain. Just bring her over here. <laughs> Anybody. Yeah. We're having dinner. Don't worry about it. <laughs> right. Just tell her to show up. It's funny that she has a southern accent. She's a southern belle, the queen. No, but look though. Hey, that was my queen accent. <laughs> Your shit is awful. Yeah, but look though. It? No, I'm I'm serious. On Friday, she was regular degular. Saturday now she's a princess. There was somebody in England somewhere. They used to marry like the 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 French king's daughter. I mean, I know there's not that anymore. Right, but, but they keep that shit in, the, in in most cases. People talk about a certain pedigree. Right, and I'm like they try to keep the blue the blood money shit. in the family and right. shit like that. You don't think there was anyone else? He was he was going against the grain all the way on this one. Oh yeah, he's definitely a rebel. Right, he's definitely a rebel in in terms of that. But I mean, you know, white people do that. Mm, I guess so. They but, will rebel against their entire family. How do you think it's going to turn out for him? Um, I, is he, I, I is, think he got a good woman. Is he the? Uh, That's how do you, really how what do you it know? boiled down to. How do you know? Do you, I don't. Oh, I have no proof. I mean, she's pretty. Uh, is she a good woman though? I know plenty of pretty bitches. Hey, I mean, how do you, how do you think? What do you do with that? How can this turn out though? I don't think there's a there's a, there's not really a good way because even if she's right, even if she's a good woman, even if, she, if it turns out that she like does everything right, there's still gonna be the people on the side like you know she's black. <laughs> you know, oh yeah, of course. You know she's black, right? Especially in the UK. I mean, you're, <laughs> this this is this is the cream of Europe here. She could be perfect. It wouldn't matter, right? It, that none of that's gonna even matter anyway. You know what fucked me up though, man? Like so many women were reliving all of their Disney fantasies from right. like four years old all over again. It was <sighs> it was so happily ever after does exist, but the, it was all of that shit. <laughs> And you know what's really odd, though, man? All these people were so happy on your timeline. And what you mentioned earlier. What? That some, everybody was so happy about this, but just a what? A week ago? No, the, the day before, there was a school <laughs> shooting where kids were murdered. No, that's not what I was talking about. You were talking about Donald Glover earlier, just a few minutes ago. Yeah. I, I didn't want to yeah. steal your shine because you, you're the one who said I mean, it. But you ain't got a fellas day to day, man. Right. Just talk your shit, man. Right. So just yeah, a, uh, just, they was talking was all, all that shit a second ago, right. right? Donald Glover has a white wife, so he can't be pro black. He can't be woke because he's got a white wife, right? So, but is that what they were saying? Are they were basically saying fuck him? Because I thought they were kind of saying they, fuck him. I think Crystal tried to slide that one in there. I want to go. If I'm not mistaken, I might have to look at what episode was that? Twenty seven. She said fuck him. Something like that. No, I don't remember her saying. She that. said that. Or was that when when Ty was here when she was saying that uh, women were upset, right? Women, right? Air quotes that it makes it general. I, I, if I remember correctly, Crystal, and I could be wrong, you could be full of shit on this, but I think she was saying that it's not a big deal who you date. Mm. But but America wasn't saying that. America was pissed off, 
And it wasn't at, at Donald Glover? Yeah. And it wasn't just about being woke. They were pissed off because just the fact that why do all the black men become successful and then date a white girl? Uh, well, they don't talk about black men that become successful and, and date black women. Like, hell, everybody hates LeBron. Right. Everybody hates LeBron. I don't. But LeBron is like the best person. Like, the best person with the best heart and the and he performs at a high level on a consistent basis. Even if you, you can't knock this guy. Even if you didn't but count everybody the fact, talks shit about him. Even if you didn't count the fact that he married his high school sweetheart. He never he didn't try to his black high school. He didn't sweetheart. try to go uh upgrade to some no. uh Instagram model or something. Even if you don't talk about the fact that he brought all his homeboys with him and got them jobs and positions and stuff that they could do, proactive things to do as opposed to leaving them in Akron or whatever. Even if you don't count the fact that he stands up for social issues from time to time, mm-hmm. you, you have to look at what happened in the news recently. He gave $44 million to um, Akron Univer- University of Akron mm-hmm. so that... Uh, Scholarships. No, 41 so that million, kids, excuse me. So that like 1,100 kids 1,100 can kids can go to school for free. He's a class act <laughs> human being. Like, right. he's in the VIP line to heaven. Well, I don't know about that. Hey, man, how you going to slow him down? Like, for real? No, it's not that. If, if, if I get to heaven and they're giving LeBron trouble at the gate, dude, <laughs> something's wrong. You're like, is a 6'8 black guy out here? I'm like, not sure. Well, he got into a fight on the court when... Shut right. the f- Are nah. you kidding me? Nah, but yeah, LeBron is a good dude, but and nobody really does give him credit for that about him being with a black wife. But he's a class act human being all the way around, man. Five stars. But Can't they were giving him. Donald Glover trouble about having a white a white wife, uh, and also not giving what's her name, Megan, Megan. Yeah, Meg, Megan Markle. Was well, that her name anymore? Or is she now like Megan? Like, what is her last name now? Of England, <laughs> Megan of England. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> the royal family has no last name. I don't know what the you. They do. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they're not my royal. The royal my, family has no last name. Hashtag just, not my king. True that. Right. Like, is he even? Is this guy even up for the 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 crown at all? Or is he like a side one? He, I I think he's a, a step behind um the uh, the older brother. <laughs> What's his name? The balding one. The the, the, the one the one that married Kate. Not my king. I, I don't. know. I don't have any idea. Hey, man, I have trouble keeping up with stuff going on outside of Wakanda. So, look, you know what's funny, though, is, is that um, people, like, black women get mad and say things like, well, fuck it, you can have that nigga, right, when, when they start dating white women. But I don't, I'm not mad at Megan. Me either. That's a come up. That is, definitely. That is a come up. Definitely. It's definitely coming to America. You, what? So, he got his own money. <laughs> right. So do you think that they're going to be on her now about giving back to the hood? Back to Compton. Is she from Compton? Well, but you know what? I have I have seen different videos on social media where women are talking about she can't she can't expose her her blackness in 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 the the royal family. You know what I mean? That she has to fit in or or keep up this this white role, right? Right. Um, because she's one of them now, and so her blackness <laughs> has to be. Uh, Swept away. Who said that? I I, I don't know the 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 stwimp, the stwimp of her blackness. Who said it though? I mean, that, this people. is this is the internet or it, this yeah, is... people on the internet, ignorant people. <sighs> well, you know what's funny is if they have kids, there it doesn't matter what she does. Like, there's a permanent reminder. I think I think I think that she. I think they're both going to rebel in in their own way. I mean, he clearly has his own mind and does his own thing, and so did his mother, right? right? And so, uh, matter of fact, there was even a video that surfaced of Meghan Markle when she was 12 years old, and she was on, uh, like, Nick Jr. or some shit, like Nickelodeon, right? And she wrote a letter to... The president of Procter and Gamble, because of a commercial that they did, where they were saying women are fighting Greece with our new dish detergent, and she was offended by that. And Megan wanted, was, yeah, yeah. So as a kid, as a kid, she was twelve years old. They did this, you know, little piece on her about who, who better to fight you know, Greece? Her, her protest. Honestly, who who better to fight Greece? Women than women. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. To, to fight grease and grime on pots and pans. I, I don't. I can't find a person better suited to fight grease. I 
dudes aren't detail oriented enough. I mean, I just you know, dudes make Frankly. grease. Dude, think about it. Dudes make grease. That's what we do. We yeah, we we get stuff dirty. That's yeah. our job. We're best at that. Who and better to fight? Dirty and yeah, yeah, really, yeah. So she was a child activist. Turned. What did she do? What do you have any idea what she who she is like um, after that? After Nickelodeon, did she like turn to drugs or something? Like what? What happened? Like, <laughs> did where, she turn? To I don't drugs. know anything about these people. At, at, I feel bad because I think a lot of people know a lot about these people, and I know nothing. Yeah, I don't know much either. I want to say she was, and see, this is why this is why dudes can't even really talk about this shit. Do you feel bullshit. like we lost one? Lost one? Yeah, you know, black women feel like they lost one when a uh, when Donald Glover goes and marries a white chick or Tay Diggs or whoever the person is of the of the man. Hold on, let me be for real with you. The only women that are upset these are the same women that are lonely and bitter already. Okay. They're all and, and so it's just like the next event in a succession of events that they can, you know, be mad or frustrated about. Mad about Donald Glover. They would about. be mad. They would they were mad about Donald Glover. Because they're not mad about women Megan, are mad right? about anytime a man especially when a black woman comes up, they be mad. It just happens. Yeah, I don't know. Matter of fact, ooh, I just thought about it. Bang. Okay. So yeah, there was another uh, article that I saw, or a video, right, where uh, a young girl just graduated. It's graduation season, right? So, you know, congratulations to all the graduates. But uh, this say, girl just graduated. Congratulations? Huh? Did you say congratulations? Did I say congratulations? Congratulations? Well, I think you said congratulations. <laughs> that's that's kind of cool, actually. Anyway, it's one That should be on a card. Right. It's corny, but you can make money. Congratulations. I don't know. I, I can't talk this week. Right. Right, but the the girl graduated. Right, and her boyfriend of I don't know how many years proposed to her at the graduation, and on the stage. No, not on the stage. Oh, okay. But, I mean, there because there's a video of her. She's standing there with her diploma and her flowers. Right, and the guy like gets on one knee and you know presents her with the ring. All right, and it's not on stage. No, it wasn't on stage. Okay. It went on stage. But apparently feminists were pissed. They said he, it, 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 even at a graduation, that's another man stealing her moment. It's her shine. And he manipulated the situation and made it all about him. Did women just start instead graduating? Instead of her accomplishments that she worked so hard for. That's Did what... Did People women just saying. get the right to start graduating or something? No. So they've been graduating. Been it wasn't graduating. on stage? I'm pretty sure she's not the first one that got proposed to on her graduation day either. Who who would be mad about that? What what feminist even what I don't understand how that, that hurts the feminist movement though. They're, they're graduating saying, is not no, it just a woman hurt thing. The feminist movement. It's not it's not a woman it. thing. They were up in arms. It's not a woman thing to graduate. No. It doesn't define... No, graduating is gender bias, but they yeah. said by him, it, he he was upstaging her. Oh, so he didn't graduate. No, he didn't graduate. So he was just there trying to be a good, nice a, a good, a nice guy and some kind of way got caught in the political... Right. Feminists are saying that he manipulated the situation and made it all about him or them because all about oh whoa, whoa, whoa all about because him because he proposed to her instead uh, like or the his, the timing of it he should have waited he should have waited for a time when he wasn't stealing her shine what the fuck ever do you believe i, I just I, I feel like this how do you think the mom felt i think mom was cool with it how do you think the the woman felt the girl who graduated she, Did she say sure, yes? Yeah, she said yes. <laughs> she said yes. She responded on Twitter. For those of you that are mad, I'm not. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm about to get married, bitch. <laughs> that's, what, that's what she should have said. I don't think any girl at that graduation was uh, like, he's taking her shine. He's like, like what? That doesn't even make any sense. I get so offended. I guarantee, even, even her dad, I'm sure, was like, hey, she's out of my pocket. One less bill. What? Like, who is this nigga? You got money? No, that's not the only reason you get married. It's not for money. Don't let Crystal fool you. Um, but <laughs> I don't. I don't understand why that would be a big deal. I, I would. I would. It's not her day. It's everybody on. The, it's everybody's day. Everybody that went through all that. So it's not like specifically like her birthday party or like. It, 
But I don't even see a difference in that. Like if it was at her birthday party, you proposed at her birthday party. I think party. people be too worried ab- too much about attention. They, what do you mean? This I think it's petty. I do. I think it's petty to worry if she gets proposed to at at her graduation. Like that's that's double for her. Cause, right. Because even the way it's not about him. Right, not at all. That's what I was saying. Like it's not about him. He's, he's not, not he's, the focal point. He's not gonna get a ring today. She got a ring today. Right. I don't get it. I don't understand. Like we, we we're not gonna be able to argue. Even the proposal is a defer. It's like hell. He's, he's fucking praying to her. Right. He got I on his knee. I like, should have said that close to the mic. He's he, praying to her. He got on a knee like a simp. I want to know if I would say a simp. Yeah, it's kind of simpy. Sucker. It is kind of. You think? I mean that, that tradition. When you proposed, did you get on one knee? I did because it's tradition, but that tradition is kind of stupid, isn't it? You think so? Uh, I don't know that I did. Now what, that what, I, what we should do instead? Now that I think, how do we modernize the tradition? Um, do you feel like women should be able to ask men? Nah, that's whack. Like if 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 my woman proposes to gets on one knee and proposes to me. Uh-huh. I'm getting on one knee too. But see, there's the knee thing again. I'm not sure that the knee thing is that's kind of outdated, right? Do you take your where, jack- did that, where did that come from? Do you take your coat off and put it over a puddle when your girl walks? I don't. She better nah. just don't wear your good shoes when it rains. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why you got on Jordans? It's raining. Yeah, yeah I got I don't take that off. I don't do that. I do open doors. I do. I, I do. I, I open doors. I do pump gas. Yeah. But yeah, I don't. I don't like my woman to touch the the, the gas pump. That's because we do that. That's because we we're greasy. That's what I'm saying. We're greasy. They're grease killers. Hey, matter of fact, you ever seen a dude? You ever seen a dude sitting in the passenger seat just like on his phone while his girl's pumping gas? No. You have never seen that? Never seen that. Man, ask. I don't want to see. Ask it. her, can you pump her gas? Watch that. Dick. No, I'm not doing. That. That's not my business. I'm not getting in the middle of yeah, that. You, but you know when a when an alpha man shows up, that's when all the other Try to out, try to alpha up, but that's his. That's his woman. I'm not. I don't get no pussy because I pump her gas. I'm not trying to make. I'm not trying to make her day so that she. I'm, like I'm not trying to prove that her man is an asshole. He's he is an asshole. If you if you allow your woman to pump her own gas while you're sitting in the car, you are an asshole. I'm. I rock with that, and I don't even think it's about chivalry. It's just for the right thing to do. Like, come on. Like, why is your woman outside in the elements right now? You sitting your Comfortable ass in the in the front right. seat. <laughs> I, I feel like there's something bitch about it. I just feel like your woman should always be more comfortable than you. I agree with you. And it's not just pumping gas. It's not yeah. just if 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 there's something to carry, I'm gonna carry it. Right. Not because she's not strong enough to carry it. Feminist women who just want to be mad at me for saying that. It's not about that. I just feel like my woman should always be more comfortable than me. Always. There should never be a time. I agree. Um, but, but feminists get upset about that. I don't care if, if you're. If if you open the door for her, you are taking away her right to do it for herself. I don't care. She don't need that right then. That's dumb. <laughs> the right to open a door? So she don't need that right. Who who died for that right? <laughs> who who died for the right I to open your know. own door? All I know is nobody. Strangely enough, every time feminists get upset, it's always when a black woman is treated well. Really? I feel like that. I don't know about I feel, that. One. I feel like feminists get upset when a black man treats a black woman well. That sounds like they he try to manipulate it like he's he's taking away her power or some shit like that. Hmm. I don't know if that's the truth. I, I, can't, I don't have any evidence. No, I don't it, think I don't think that that is the truth. But I, feminists seem to be upset. Those are the only time feminists get upset yeah. when a, when when the black woman was rolling around on the floor with the white. Officer in Waffle House, I didn't hear feminists upset about that. Yeah, I don't know that they did either. I, I didn't. I didn't hear a peep. Feminists, where you at? Hashtag WYA. But um, it's not just to me. It's not just women. The it's not. It's not just my, me wanting my woman to be more comfortable than me. I also feel like if I'm driving a car and I got my windows up. And somebody has their windows down because it's hot and it's hot outside. Whatever it is, they get the right away. They're they're having a more car, hard time than me. If I'm if I'm if somebody's riding a bike and I'm driving a car, they're gonna get the right away. So that's how you is, is that is that you taking her power away? Or I feel like that's what a man does to honor his woman. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm giving up I'm giving up the benefit to someone who's 
who either is working harder than me mm-hmm. or, but at the same time, if it's my woman, I want my woman to be more comfortable than me. I'm right. going to work harder than her. Right. In every, every, in every aspect. There'll never be a time where my woman is going to work harder than me in anything that we do in our relationship. If, if, if for some reason, I mean, I can't even, I'm trying to think of a, a situation. Of what? Where there, there I would ever allow her to work hard. The only thing I can think of is possibly if, like, say my woman made more money than me. And, you know what I'm saying, like, I, I'm, I'm not going to go out and get another job. You know what I'm saying? That, mm-hmm. cause to me, that would be demeaning in the sense of, oh, she's a woman. She can't make more, more than me. That's not what I mean. What I'm saying is our comfort levels are always going to be offset with me being more uncomfortable than her if I can help it. Right. I mean, because that's what, hell, when it's time to take out the trash or change the tire, that's man shit. Right. You take the trash out, you change the tire, you My wife is clean perfectly car, capable of taking the trash out. Right. She's not less of, she's not, she's not being treated like less of because she can't take the trash out. But if it's 10, at, at night, like when we, when we have, uh, um, the dogs have to go out at night, I walk the dogs at night. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, but I think that's a that's a safety thing too. You you don't want to as a man you shouldn't want your want your woman to be vulnerable in certain situations as well. I want to be like, more comfortable. I, like when we sit at a restaurant, I'm facing the door. I want to see she don't have right. to worry if somebody's coming. Right. I got your back. At seven o'clock, after the dogs eat, she walks the dogs. And I'll tell her, hey, you walk them now because I'm going to walk them later. But that's because I wanted to be more comfortable at tonight mm-hmm. and not be looking over her shoulder trying to figure out what's going on or whatever. I would prefer to, to be in that position. So, right. I don't know. It's, it's silly. It's all silly. She, she should be happy she got – well, she's not mad. The people who are mad about her getting proposed to at their graduation probably don't have a husband. No offense. No, I, I totally agree with you. Because married women don't think like that. I don't think I don't think married well some married women but they're married to other women. What do you mean? They're lesbians. Yeah, I mean I understand that part. <laughs> you mean but, what do I mean? Right. <laughs> I say <said>, I'm saying <laughs> so, this is what a lesbian is, Kevin. And what I'm saying is, is is that the women who are married and think like that uh-huh. are married to women because they got time to worry about that shit. Anybody yeah. got time to be worried about that shit? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't, now, see, like, there's plenty of shit to actually be upset about. About the, the wedding, the proposal? I mean, just in general. Oh, there's yeah. There's plenty of shit to actually... Oh, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Like, pussy people pick the weakest shit to worry about. And, right. Uh, it, it's, it's fucking annoying. No. No, I'm not, I'm not having it. It's just ridiculous. And then, did you hear about um, Houston's? Houston's the Houston. restaurant in Atlanta that right. just got caught under which, fire. Which, which <laughs> Crystal wants to save the Houstons. Houston's has yeah, some good fuck food. Houston's, but yeah, like, why do why do we need Houston's? Is is that is it going to change my lifestyle dramatically? Remind me of the original story. Um, the original story was was it Jay the real estate guy? Um, Jay Morrison, I think his name. Uh huh. Okay, so he. Uh, tried to be seated at the restaurant with his party. Right. I think it was at a party of eight. And they were too, there weren't enough tables, they said. Right. They said they couldn't seat them um, together. And he said, all right, well, break us up, whatever. I'm paying, so it don't matter. Just, right. you know, and they still, you know, refused. Because, because they, they said, reserved eight, not four and four. Right. Like you, well, you already told me you got eight, so you right. can't say it's... <laughs> four and four now. <laughs> he he could have just came in with like a disguise on or something, like you know, saying something different. Right, like put on a trench coat and, and sit or, on my shoulders, or like, let the other like, person come in and do it, or let somebody completely else do it, and then they come up when they call the names. It could have been a whole bunch of things. Anyway, well, wh- why would he have to? He shouldn't have to sneak into the shouldn't. restaurant. It was a dumb. It was a dumb situation. Right, it was dumb. And he ended up. They ended up leaving, feeling pissed off, and decided they wanted to get it closed down because of that. So fast forward. A little time. So Houston's actually closing down. Yeah, Houston actually did close. Ti got involved. Well, that one did. Right. That not. The, but there's another Houston's, and so this happens now. Tell me about what happened recently. Okay. So the story, as I understand it, and and viewers correct me if I'm wrong, because this is like just happened. As I understand, was that it was close to closing time. Okay. Right. And three women. Went into the or excuse me, they were allowed access to the restaurant despite it closing. Okay, right, and they went to the bathroom. So they go to the bathroom, and I guess they took too long in the bathroom, and security um, 
goes after I guess they had you know told them you know to leave or whatever, and they I guess they weren't leaving quick enough. Uh, security goes into the women's restroom, drags one of the girls out of the restaurant, like drags her out of the bathroom and through the restaurant, and then um, I guess basically tries to throw her out. Of Houston's Like she was Jazzy Jeff On the Fresh Prince I was gonna say Like Eddie Murphy And Beverly Hills Cop Like, like uh, Throw through like, the glass <laughs> Like when I saw the video There He was like Holding her down In the bushes And shit And like well, She's not got, even a real Once she's officer. out Why isn't she just out If you're out You're out I, I, I don't know But they were But I, I do feel like It was dead ass wrong For A man To mm-hmm. be Handling her in that manner Did they eat like, there? Like that's not cool They ate there right? No Oh they didn't eat No they didn't eat It so, was closing time So I don't even know That they had an opportunity To order Okay so they came in We're told it's too late to order So they decided to go To the bathroom Yeah And then they stayed there For how long? I don't, I don't know Because I mean Even when a restaurant Is about to close The people who are Still in there eating They don't rush them Right Right. So were they and, there for like two hours? Fact, I've seen this. I've seen it where, because they were talking about it with uh, Frank and Wanda in the morning. But they, like, people will sit there and talk until, and they're cleaning up right. around them. Just flipping chairs and everything. Right. 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 Like, they're cleaning every table except the one that you're sitting at, waiting right. on, you know, you to catch the hint. <laughs> and flicking, go. The, flicking the lights and stuff. Right. 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 But... These women were in the restroom. That's insane sounding. It, and were dragged out. So, but I mean, okay, so just at face value, you could you can understand why it's hard for me to believe that this is this happened without any any provocation from the women. It's hard to believe why all of this shit is happening. Like every week it seemed like it's a different restaurant where black people are being thrown out or denied service for one reason or another. But my question is though, why? <sighs> Like I don't I'm like I'm I'm about to the point where I'm about to play restaurant bingo where you can just guess which one is going to offend us next but, week. But Kevin, what I'm saying though is though Houston's already had trouble recently for for a racial issue, right? Potentially. Right. It just seems very And see, I know what you're gonna say. It's odd that they would put themselves in a position for this. It is. It is. And, and, and I think and, that was part of the reason T I is again upset. At Houston's. Yeah, but T.I. got his own troubles right now. He should sit down somewhere for a minute because... His own own trouble how? You didn't know he got arrested the other night? Yeah, I know he got arrested. Yeah. The, Man, he, he ain't worried about that shit. Okay, well, he was wrong for that. Why'd he go back? I don't... Wrong how? Why'd he go back? It's his, it's his place. But why'd he go back? What you back? mean it's his home? But why'd he go back? Go back to what? After he got in and went home, why'd he come back? I don't know that he went there and came back. That's what I heard. I heard he, he got home and got pissed off about it again and wanted to come talk some more shit to the guy. Who was a, who was a dickhead? First of all, because how do you not know who T.I. is in Atlanta? Second of all, right. it's his fucking house. You probably... As, as, as many mouths as T.I. is fed. Like, you don't you, know... You can't afford anything inside those gates. It's your job to protect people who, who don't live there, but there has to... Once you recognize that the person who's, who does live there is that person... Shut the fuck up Like he calling Extra security And I don't know What T.I. said to him But it couldn't have been Anything that would have uh, can Made him say You know what I should call the police On this guy who lives here Who well, owns think, a house Inside this gated community Right Well I think he rubbed him The wrong way anyway Because they said That the security guard Was asleep Asleep He was asleep on the job Right And like Tip like Hey man Get the fuck up <laughs> Like let me in my shit Right You know what I'm saying So I don't know. That's ridiculous because you should like, know T.I. is. But, uh, but T.I. Is, is in the middle of that. So what I'm saying is as far as Houston goes, though, I'm not saying that I don't, I don't believe it. What I'm saying is it's, it's very just, that's a shocking thing that Houston's will allow themselves to get into a, 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 a scuffle with a, a black woman. Like that's very hard to believe. I'm, well, I don't know. I don't think it was like the restaurant management. It, it eh, was it was the it? guard. It was the the guard that they hired. Right. So uh, play it play it in my mind. I mean, play it out for me. Okay. okay. So the, the guard comes. It's been twenty five minutes. Let's say twenty five minutes, which is an incredible amount of time to be in a bathroom, especially for someone who's not paying. Would you say it was less than that? Like, do they have? A, is there a timeline yet? Uh, I don't know. Okay. So let's just say mm, twenty. But minutes. I'll go with twenty five minutes. Okay, okay. Let's say twenty five minutes. He comes and knocks on the door. And say, uh, ma'am, you guys need to leave. Uh, the the restaurant is closing. I need you guys to leave. How do you go from that to pulling her 
through the restaurant, uh, from what I heard, putting bruises on her arm. Yeah. And then, yeah, like I think she has like a black eye. And, and then shit. dumping her ass in the bushes. I don't, I don't, that just, for a restaurant that's under scrutiny right now, mm. I don't understand how that happens. There has to be something in the middle there. There has to be. I think there, there are far too many. There, there's an epidemic of puny-minded people right. that really want you to respect their authority. Like, I don't know why um, these, these cowards are finding jobs or getting hired in positions where they have to force themselves. It's like the dude that got beat up in high school that whole time, 20 right. years ago, is now a cop. But this isn't and, even a cop. You said it was a, a Houston's. Uh, right. No, I'm just. I'm he's just, a valet slash. I'm, I'm, I'm profiling. Okay. I'm, I'm profiling the types of officers right. that are committing these infractions. Okay. That's where I was going. So with you're that. you're saying what you're saying then is that this this guy was that guy to the point where he couldn't allow two women to use the bathroom for more time than what he thought was necessary. He said no. Apparently, he said you got to go and damn it, I mean now. It was a white officer or a security guard. Um, he on the video he looked fair skinned. I don't know okay. if I want to say he was white, but he was a lot brighter than me. Okay, so I mean I'm a lot brighter than you, but, right? But my and and it was dark. So in fairness, he could have been. I, f- I felt like it was being framed as racism a second ago, though, because you kind of grouped it in with the rest of the things that have been happening mm-hmm. to black people. You know what I'm saying? So I I I, I would want to know definitely. Whose whose directive it was to to remove those ladies from the restaurant? Was it his own idea? That's an important part. Was it the manager's idea or a server or somebody else? Like how did it, how did the even thing even start? Why the how long they were in the bathroom? Because that does matter. I'm not saying it justifies them being grabbed, but it does matter how long they were in the bathroom. Because I think that for me. If I'm the security guard, you have to be in there an incredible amount of time for me to come knock on the door at all for any reason. Right. You know I what think, I'm saying? I think either way, I think there's still tactful ways to be able to handle this. And and right. for for whatever reason, when it's when it's black men or black women, no one wants to use their tact. For right. example, the school sh- the the person that shot up the school on Friday was apprehended alive. Right, so someone, some some officer somewhere used some some tact, right, in apprehending follow procedures. This murder, you can even say follow procedures. It's not even tact; it's a procedure in place. Right, right. But for what for whatever reason, when a guy gets pulled over for uh, matter of fact, in Cobb County, a guy was pulled over for uh, what was it, a stop sign or a tail light, something right. something minor like that. Then, you know, he gets arrested and they're wrestling around on the ground and you're resisting arrest. And like, what are you even arresting someone for on right, a right. tail light? Yeah, my son got, my son got um, pulled over because his tag, the, the tag light, one of the tag lights was out. I'm not even sure if the entire tag, you know, it has two sides. Mm. I'm not even sure if both sides were out, but apparently one of them was out. Ooh. And so he got, Tough guy. he got stopped and, you know, yeah, you know how that goes. So he's on probation now. For that Well no not just that But Okay But either way Nonetheless it was a the, the stop was bullshit Whatever else happened But we know Like that's part of being black I'm, I'm sorry and We know that if At least I knew I knew growing up I was told that If You have to keep your shit tight You're right. not allowed to have A license plate light out Right. You're not allowed to have a headlight out or a tail light, none of that shit. Right. Because when you get pulled over, you're going to cuz they're going to use that as the entry point to do everything else to it and it just escalates from there. I agree, but I agree, but and I don't and I don't mean but to discredit everything I said before that. I agree. But I have been stopped more than one time and been let go for simple infractions like those. So, I'm not sure that it's just as widespread as it's always painted to be. Maybe. And well, I think maybe the reason that you don't know that is because you don't have the complexion that Possibly. gives you certain experiences. Completely fair. For example, my son I've is been my pulled over. I've been pulled. I personally have been pulled over at nighttime because the officer said that my tent was too dark. Right. I've heard that before. I've okay. been pulled over for that too. Like, how do you judge someone's tent? At night. Right. Right? Furthermore, 
I didn't even have tint on my windows. <laughs> I swear to God, I didn't even have tint on my windows. It I was had black interior. T- the factory tint, maybe? No, I Not had even black the- <laughs> interior and my car is clean. The officer was literally telling me, well, I can't see inside your car. Did you get Sir, a ticket? You can't see inside my car because there's nothing to see. Right. Glass is clear and my interior <laughs> is black. <laughs> Did you get it? Like, I literally just detailed my car. There's nothing in here. I purposely keep it like, I purposely keep my car like rental, like rent a car clean. Right. Right? Nothing's in here. Right. Spick and span. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's very, very possible. That is a fair assessment that the reason why I've been let go as many times as I have is because of my complexion. That's completely fair. Wow, that was a breakthrough, ladies and gentlemen. No, that's fair. That was a breakthrough. That was a breakthrough in race relations. I think I, I want to drop a clue bomb. <laughs> no. That's a valid point. That's a valid point. If a person were racist or prejudiced in any way, he may have he may have he may feel better about allowing me to get away with it than someone darker. I, I can totally understand that. Mm. But I'm just saying every situation may not be that also. Just like I'm willing to admit that it's possible that I get let go sometimes. For small infractions that a darker skinned person may not, I also want to make sure that we're going to keep the same energy. That sometimes it's not racism. Sometimes it's not. Um, sometimes it is. Well, some sometimes it's harder to prove than others. No, it's always hard to prove unless somebody says nigga or you know says monkey or something. It's it's almost impossible to prove. Racism, unless it's systematic. It's, it's even more impossible to prove in systematic racism. But it's a difficult thing to prove. But what I'm saying is, is that even still, we can't just assume it is because it's difficult to prove. And, that's, and now we got to make people prove that they're not racist. That's mm-hmm. that to me. That's is ridiculous too. But I completely mm-hmm. give you. I completely give you the fact that it might be the reason why I'm getting off. Is because of my complexion. I completely yeah. Because you, I mean, you're. I think you're more likely to be seen as non-threatening and or one of the good ones. Possibly, possibly. I'm kind of clean cut with every the you know the way I carry everything that I do. So you might be completely right. They may feel like I'm a conformist or something. So light skin and the conformist. Hey, yeah, you're passing. You'd pass the the paper bag test and right. you know, all that. All, all of those southern southern things. Very possible. And 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 honestly. I might go as far as to even say that the reason why I am that way is because I know of the the difficulties that are given to people who aren't. I've been conditioned. I'm a black dude in the South. What do you mean you've been conditioned? I've been conditioned to know. I mean, because you were born and raised in Atlanta, right? Yeah. But I've been conditioned to know that carrying yourself a certain way makes them feel unthreatened. I don't know that... I hate that. Well, you know what? And I've noticed this with... With white people, you have to have you have to have a certain cadence in the way you speak. Possibly, if you speak if you speak in in black vernacular, right? I, right? You know that type of that type of shit, right? Or even the way I'm speaking now, you still come off as a little bit more black. Possibly. But if you but if you start to you know take some of the bass out, no, see, I don't know, do that. I don't do and that. Kinda, and kind of where your voice goes up a little bit, you know? <laughs> I don't do Kind of at the end of your words, that, yo, it calms them right the fuck down. I think right. I'm the white people whisperer with that shit. Wow. If, if, you can, <laughs> if you can master that cadence, some of y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. I swear to God, the white cadence. Right. There's got to be a study on this because ev- everywhere has their... Every culture has their their way of speaking, right? Right, and if you match that, then you're seen to be a, a, a long a line with you know their values or whatever. I definitely, right? I definitely recognize being a, a man from the South that oftentimes society has made it my responsibility to make white people feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah, and absolutely. I and I may have quite possibly conformed to that. After 40 years of life And I don't even recognize That I do it anymore mm. Not because I don't want to be black Not because I hate black But just because Life is easier You know what I'm saying It's just it's just Life is just easier It's easier on that side It's easier to not be Fucked with all the time It's easier You know what I'm saying yeah. and, and it's not like You know it's not, it's not like no chicken shit thing It's not like it's Sell out 
I'm my people now. If my people are somewhere, I gotta, hey, they're over there. They're hiding behind, you know, it's not like that, but it's just like, shit, life is difficult as hell anyway, right? True. So being from the South where, you know, it's, you're kind of just from birth condition that white people don't like you, you gotta do twice as good. I don't even know if that's a South thing though. You learned all that too, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's a, that I think it's part of a racism thing. Right. Though, I mean, cause I, I grew up in Ohio, I grew up in Dayton, Ohio, but, it's very segregated there. Right. It's very segregated there. Like, hell, I was called, the first time I was called a nigger, it was like seven years old. I didn't even know what that shit was. I don't think I've ever been called a nigga. Really? Ever. Are you, are you fucking shitting me? By a white person? Ever. You've never been called a nigger? Ever. Wow. Not even somebody who was really, really mad at me and we were about to fight or something. Never. Wow. That's odd to me that a person from the... Nigga, from the, I'm appalled. <laughs> Black people have called me nigga plenty. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been called nigga by a white person. White woman, white man, white kid. Wow. See? Yeah, man. Complexion has its benefits. I'm not going to fight that. H- how could you? Shit. Yeah, I, can't. I mean, I could. I could like, you kind of no, have to go no. with the flow. No, no, I could do that if I were just to that because I, it, but I, I there's have, no way to quantify it. And you know what's funny because I have I actually have uh, light skinned uh, black friends who've told me that they they purposely just kind of play it up. Just it's like a their survival thing. Play what up? Their their non blackness. Oh, really? Yeah. See, I don't think that I even. I, I, matter of fact, I don't. Oh my god, what was I watching earlier? Uh, I was watching something this week where a gay person said that they're they they play up their gay in order to come off as as non threatening, mm. and that has helped them. Like especially in like a job interview or something right. like that, they'll play up the gay, and <laughs> then they get the job. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's my, crazy. My mind right? went somewhere else. That's just that's playing just, playing up the game. Right, like what you offer a blowjob? Like what how do you get the job? Like what do you what <laughs> like what? <laughs> how do you play up well, well, you, gay people have an accent too? That's true, that's true, that's true. Yeah. It's the only it's weird too, because it's like the only accent that is associated with the sexual orientation. Right, because you can be white. Some of the white gay people sound like that too. Mm-hmm. That's very odd. That's odd, man. No, but I don't think that I don't think I play up not being black. I think that it's more along the lines of I button things up. So it's like, what do you mean? So like, I don't know. Like, okay, so you're in a you're in a um, you're you're let's say you're walking somewhere and you you're you know coming from work. You've let your tie down. You know, what I'm saying maybe one one side of the the, the your shirt bottom is kind of hanging out a little bit. You know, you may have loosened your belt a little bit and it's kind of sagging a little bit. Right. I just button up. So I put the I tuck that back in, you know, fix my tie, you know what I'm saying, put my belt back in the right loop hole. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not I'm not being you not black. You don't sag. Yeah, I just I'm not not being not I'm not I'm not stopping being black. I'm not trying to be white. I just button up whatever it is that I got so that you know if my tie is hanging, I just fix my tie up. That's not the same thing to me as being white. Do you eat chicken in front of white people? Absolutely. Chicken really? is delicious. Do I need to go back to the Popeyes slogan? I mean, I, I'll be a, if you need me to be the post boy for Popeyes, I'll continue. And, and you know what? Well, because there, matter of fact, there, and I, I need to post this on the social media too. Fox News was airing the the royal wedding, of course. So I'm bringing <laughs> it all, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, right. And uh, one of the commentators there said that they they noticed. That although he was marrying a black woman, they didn't see any fried chicken. He didn't see any cheese doodles, which they I was said like, that? yes, a black guy, yes. See that's no, no, not a black guy said that. But oh. Fox, the commentator on Fox News said that. See to me, that's bullshit. Somebody should say something about that, but not everything that's like that's that's blatant to me. Clearly, yeah. like like very like it couldn't. It's one matter of fact. It's it's so racist. I'm not even sure if I'm offended because it's like, no, that's offensive. wow, that's racist. That's ridiculous. You should not be I, a, a public speaker. It and then he said cheese doodles, and I was like, cheese, cheese doodles? doodles. Do niggas like cheese doodles? I, now, apparently, white people think niggas like cheese doodles. And like, I thought about it for a second. <laughs> and I was like, 
What if he's talking about hot Cheetos? Hot Cheetos. Now, see, that's different. But see, that's a that. But that's how you know. Like but that's white speak for no. A white person, whatever. A that white person shit would, is, would try to sneak in the hood and have some big puffy Cheetos. He's like, who is this? Immediately, you would know. Yeah, but that's just like <laughs> Hillary Clinton know. talking about the hot sauce in her bag. Nobody <laughs> right. really cares the fucking hot sauce in her bag. <laughs> but in white speak, they really they. This is what cheese doodles. And who the fuck calls them cheese doodles? Right. Who the fuck says doodle? <laughs> Europeans Yankee Doodle Dandy God damn it Yes Nobody even yes. says doodle Yankee Doodle Went through bound Went through Yes Cheese wow. doodles And I guarantee they had chicken at the wedding I guarantee you there was chicken I don't know that British people eat fried chicken I don't know they may That's not like To me that's an American thing though Fried chicken is very American When I've been overseas I've never been to England I don't know What's more black Fried chicken Or barbecue chicken <laughs> I don't know I'm excited I, this, this is an exciting conversation Barbecue I don't know But I, I, overseas I don't remember seeing Fried chicken a lot in, in different countries None I don't remember any Israeli fried chicken There's definitely No fried chicken in the, in the, there, There's no Hebrew Fried chicken I don't think so I mean I, Everything there Isn't kosher Like it's not like You know Everybody's not Orthodox there mm. But even in the Regular stores It was like regular, regular shit But I don't remember There being I don't remember Seeing any fried chicken Anywhere honestly Italy, none of that. You you might go to like something like a KFC, but in the regular restaurants, that was an American thing. You know what I'm saying? Like the yeah. it wasn't a thing that you could just get somewhere. That was a specific, it's almost like a novelty. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm not sure that people over there like is fried chicken is like a thing unless it's a novelty, like touristy. Okay. Like, okay, so we know we're gonna have some Americans here. So right. we have, you right. know, fried chicken and hamburgers and hot I, dogs. I guarantee he's had fried chicken before and he will definitely start having fried chicken. Not because black oh. people love fried chicken, but because fried chicken is delicious. And if he's if his British ass has never had it, the first time he does have it, it's a dun dada. He's gonna be like, yo, Meg, can we get that fried chicken again? Meg. Every, you know they always shorten your name wrong. Right. <laughs> Every time they shorten your name wrong. Hey, Kev. <laughs> no, hey, Key, K, like the Kev is normal. People, black people call you Kev, right? Yeah, right. But they they always shorten it wrong. Hey, Van. <laughs> <All right. laughs> it's just like no. White people always give you. White people always give you a nickname. It's Katie. Hey, buddy. <laughs> you gotta do the. Finger pistol? I'm not doing that. You gotta do it. <laughs> nah, I'm not Come doing on, that. Come on, man. Let, let your white side shine with it. Nah, man. Yeah, but that's okay. bla- that's blatantly racist to me. And you know, yeah. I, I you know it's hard for me to say something's racist. I, I have to pick it apart. But come on, you're on live TV at the royal wedding, and that's royal what comes wedding, out of your mouth. You're talking about chicken and cheese doodles. Ch- nobody says do. White people. If you if you happen if you no, happen don't, to, don't go correcting them. I, I want to see when these motherfuckers come up. Are, are those are those cheese doodles? In that in that case, yes, we love cheese doodles. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it, it it really it took me like like when I heard cheese, I was like, gee, what the fuck is he? And it dawned on me like hours later, I had to figure it out. Like <laughs> hot hot does Cheetos. Does he mean hot Cheetos? Yeah, hot Cheetos. That uh, motherfucker. Right, he meant hot Cheetos. <laughs> I didn't even know that that was racist, <laughs> but now it is. Damn it! Black people love hot Cheetos, though. They do. That's racist. Yeah, they do though. Sour cream and onion too. You don't like sour cream and onion? Come on, come on, come on. That's like what? that's like you want to say Cool Ranch? Cool Ranch, yeah. Cool Ranch Doritos or uh, pickle in a in a um, in a baggie. With the juice at the bottom, or or that same exact baggie, but no pickle, no juice. And you know what? Now Kool-Aid, be, Kool-Aid mix. Now I'm gonna be self conscious every time I ask for ranch dressing at a restaurant. Yeah, you should. You should. May I have ranch? Of course you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But look, of course though, you want ranch. Same baggie, Kool Aid mix, and then that by the end of the day, your finger is red because you know it's always red strawberry or red, whatever you call it, mm. or cherry. It's always one of those two. So. If, if white people really want to inf- infiltrate us, they got to do Red. that. Come through with a pickle in a, in a baggie with the juice at the bottom because you're going to drink that on the way home on the bus. <laughs> pickle juice. You ain't seen, you've never pickle seen Tawana eat a yeah. pickle. Yeah, come yeah, on. Come yeah. on. It's hap- it happens. Oh, my God. It happens. How did this become so racist? I thought it was... Uh, I thought we, we, we were like men or talking about the women's... <laughs> Behavior and, and then it just went. It was too much. It was too much. It was too much racial stuff. So we had to jump back. It was staring at us in the face, yeah, though. It kind of yeah. was. Well, look, we appreciate you guys tuning in again. 
Uh, without Crystal, I think we did okay. We yeah. had a good time. We had a good time. I uh, mean, we hold it down. It's not, it makes it so bad when dudes have, you know, dudes night out, a dudes trip. Right. It, it's never is, like, we don't have, like, strippers hanging off the ceiling. They always, and shit th- like you, that. Always, you always think that that's how it is, women, but I, it's not like that. Now, when I don't girls, know, maybe, maybe next time we should, we have more and more planning time. When girls go out, they do some heinous shit. Oh, yeah. I mm-hmm. know it. I know they do. I've seen girls, girls be like at male strippers. They be like sucking his dick. That's what I was gonna say. Back when I was watching porn, like the dancing bear thing or something, it's called dancing. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Do you think that dudes are eating out strippers at the strip club? We're not. No, we're not. (laughs) No, I'll be damned if I put my mouth on a stripper pussy. What? I mean, you know, come on. Because you know a stripper pussy is full of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> if not now. It's full of dicks. If not right yeah. this moment, not too long ago. Like, you don't have to know what her body count is, <laughs> but you just know. You just intrinsically know right. that there's hundreds of dicks. Uh, how, dare, are, how dare you, Heifer, go to a, a public party and put your lips shame. around a penis. Carried away. Uh, Lost control of yourself. Uh, Where's actually what? Ha- I, I'm curious. Megan's Markle bachelorette party. She's right. marrying a prince. Right. She had to wild the fuck out. You had to. She had to. But you know his his they probably kill somebody because you he's a prince. You know they probably hunted a dude. They went out to the, <laughs> <laughs> they went out to the woods and like like they hunted iced teas right, and shit. Right. They had to. Come on, man. If you're a prince, it's fucking ridiculous. You're not just gonna have no regular shit, pinata hits and shit. Like no, mm. they hitting people. <laughs> Anyway, God, it's so dark. Jesus Christ, why? Are... I don't know. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe, especially that last part. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe the video. <laughs> All right. I don't know what that is. I don't co-sign whatever that, that, that was. was my, that was my. That was my. They had that Catholic church choir singing. Oh, that. for the wedding. Yeah. You're still calling a wedding. I mean, I, yeah. I don't know anything about these people. But I know about y'all, man. Please share the show if you enjoyed it. Let a friend know. Um, and uh, like, what is it? Subscribe. Like, Yeah, like, share, and subscribe. I don't know why I got and confused. You, and you know what was dope that I just realized? What's that? too? Because normally you sit a little closer. But because it was just you and I, we had a like, little man chair space between us. Right. Oh, yeah. You like that? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Was, Let's see if we can get a new it's set. It's dudes. It's, it's a thing we do. <laughs> we'll see y'all next time. Peace. Music love life. Perfect. Perfect, perfect time.